Kona Table Time. Frequently, so-called tourist areas are the first places people visit in New York and the last places anyone would think to look for a great meal. That is not true at Rockefeller Center, where the Sea Grill reigns as one of the best places in New York City to get an imaginative seafood lunch or dinner. At this time of year, you can be dining in the beautiful outdoor annex of the Sea Grill in the midst of Rockefeller Center. Be confident in the kitchen. At the helm is the noted Seppi Rangli, formerly of the Four Seasons Restaurant. And one of his creations is this ice plateau of shellfish. My corner table guests are stars from the New York food world. Author Barbara Kafka, senior editor of Bon Appetit, Sarah Belt, chef Larry Forgione from An American Place, Arcadia's Ann Rosenzweig, John Mariani, restaurant critic for Esquire, Zarella Martinez of Zarella Restaurant, and Jean Hovis, vice president of Macy's Marketplace. The food arrived. Sea grilled chowder, seafood gazpacho, Farfarel Primavera and Marilyn Crab Cake. And we talked food. Incorporation of very wonderful ingredients, extremely fresh fish and pasta, which you wouldn't have found 10 years ago in most seafood restaurants. What we have is some soft shell crabs with um, fiddlehead ferns. This looks great. It's uh, grilled mahi-mahi, and it's an unusual presentation because it has pickled vegetables, which are very beautiful and colorful. I love mine because it goes with my blouse. <laughs> <laughs> And we found some dazzling desserts, sorbets, key lime pie, banana napoleon, mmm, chocolate. That led to Seppi getting a standing ovation. It was a meal appreciated for many reasons. Very big, very big portions, which is uh, a good thing on a Saturday before you go to the gym. It was a delicious meal, as the French would say, je bien, manger très bien. Since I moved here from Mexico 10 years ago, one of the greatest treats is to have all of the seafood. My entree was a marvelous piece of fish that was brilliantly grilled. Lots of grilling in American food, and it is the Sea Grill. The Sea Grill at Rockefeller Center. Beautiful surroundings for creative cuisine. And the Sea Grill's entrees are priced in the upper teens and low 20s, which is expensive. However, good important point, if you're going to eat fish, you should be looking for a place that buys the best fish, and that costs money. By the way, two of my corner table guests, Larry Forgione and Ann Rosenzweig, who do the White House state dinners, will be among the two dozen chefs from all over the country cooking Monday night right there at Rockefeller Center for the City Meals on Wheels benefit. Bill Boggs Corner Table is brought to you by the American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Welcome back, 9.51, and I'm really looking forward to Bill's Corner Table this week. Well, let's get to it. Today's Corner Table is a terrific Italian restaurant conveniently located on 8th Avenue between 53rd and 54th Streets. The driving force at Cafe Cielo is the owner, Joe Gambuto, who made one of those fantasy midlife career changes to put himself in the restaurant business. And Joe has a great sense of humor, so my corner table guests were young comedians and Joey Adams. Cafe Cielo, sleek and clean, still like a new restaurant after eight years. My corner table comedians included. I'm Susie Essman, and I'm here for the free lunch. <laughs> I'm John Stewart. I'm a lounge singer. Hi, I'm Lorraine Aronowitz. My name is Dan Slade, and you know, only in America can you be a young comedian and be with Joey Adams. And Alan Havey. Uh, for years I worked for the New York Times. Uh, my name was Gail Green. I used to review restaurants, so I know what's going on today. And Joey Adams, who described his fellow comedians. Great, intelligent, brilliant, perfectly wonderful people. I know because they told me so. I made my usual visit to the kitchen to offer proof that this is real Italian food. Here's a chef. Olio extra vergine. Un goccino d'aceto, eh, pepe nero, sale e prezzemolo. So we started with that seafood salad and also tomatoes and mozzarella. Joey was just happy to get a meal. My wife uh, hasn't cooked since 1930. There was only one joke for the waitress. I'll just have the dolphin. <laughs> Owner Joe Gambuto talked about his dedication. I put about 12, 14 hours a day, every day seven days a week. The place reflects his hard work. Our entrees included grilled tuna with olive oil, red snapper in lemon and scallion sauce, fettuccine with veal in wild mushroom sauce, penne with sun-dried tomatoes and spaghetti with lobster and shrimp, 
So what did the jokesters think? Hello, everybody. I'm Jake Scarborough. And I got to tell you that I really enjoyed sitting at the corner table today. I made the mistake of ordering sun-dried tomatoes, which are too salty, and then I retain. The food was great. I actually whip a lot of this stuff up at home anyway, so for me, it's just another day out. And I hope you're going to be watching me during the weekdays. I really enjoy the tuna a lot. Excellent cuisine and uh, great service. As Chuck Scarborough, I really enjoyed the place. I like it because I'm not paying the check. you got to watch the weekend show, but you also got to watch the weekday show with myself, Chuck Scarborough, and Carol Jenkins, Sue Simmons, Lynn Bourbon, Al Roker, the rest of the gang. <laughs> Cafe Cielo. Uh, real TV people go there, too. All right, Cafe Cello is at 881 8th Avenue. It's good Italian food with pasta ranging from $11 to $18. They've got creative pizzas, about $10, and large entrees in the upper teen range. It's open every day, and it's particularly comfortable after the theater. Welcome back. Well, as we all know, New York has been attacked by dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. Parents are being attacked by kids who want to see the movie, or if they have seen it, they want to experience more of it. So this week's Corner Table takes you to a place where you can eat dino-inspired food and see how the movie was made and study replicas of the actual creatures in the film. Now, where is this? Well, it's the Jurassic Park across from Central Park, the great American Museum of Natural History. I took my son, Trevor, a major fan of the Mesozoic era, First stop, food, at the Dinosaurus Fast Food Eatery. We joined a group of youngsters at the museum. Kids can order for themselves, and adults can have second thoughts. Club soda? Club Isn't that boring? The hot and healthy chicken sandwich and club soda. How old am I? The place is well air conditioned with room for strollers between the tables. Children love stuff in boxes, so Trevor explained what kids can get. A dino sipper, a souvenir cup, a nice regular cup, dino fries, and of course, the toy. In addition to burgers, our corner table gang had a salad, pizza, a tuna croissant, a chef salad, and fruit salad. You can sip dinosaur punch or lemonade, and yes, dino cookies are waiting to be eaten. The kitchen can turn out 3,000 meals on the busiest days, but we discovered the museum's latest creation to coincide with Jurassic Park. It's a dino nugget. No DNA included. So what did the corner table kids think? I had a hamburger. It was very good. I think dino fries are very weird because I have not seen them before. I just see like normal fries before. And the service was good. The dino cookie is very good. The pizza is good. And they have a lot of, lot of different varieties of things. At Dinosaurus, you'll be fortified and ready for your trip upstairs to dun, 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 the dinosaurs of Jurassic Park. You'll see scale models of the sets and video of scenes from the film. There are some shot-by-shot -shot storyboards on the walls and lots of displays. Fossils are available. And you can inspect those vicious raptures without the kids screaming. Well, it's true. And during the weekends, the museum is open from 10 a.m. until 8.45 on Saturday and until 5.45 on Sunday. Now, that Dinosaurus restaurant closes at 4.15. The special Dinosaurs of Jurassic Park exhibit is $5 for adults and $2.50 for children. And prices for food at the Dinosaurus restaurant are comparable to fast food prices around town. Welcome back. Well, Sunday mornings are a wonderful time to explore the city in search of interesting restaurants. The traffic is light. You can travel by car, by train, skates, foot, or bike. And if you don't live in the Fort Greene or the Clinton Hill neighborhoods, which border today's Corner Table restaurant, you may just want to venture in that direction. In the borough of Brooklyn, which displays some of the city's finest architecture, at the Caliban Vanderbilt Avenues, not far from Spike Lee's store, is Two Steps Down Restaurant and Pub. At Sunday brunch there, you can enjoy art and pancakes. And there's a mother and daughter team in the kitchen that knows how to deliver food while you relax in a comfortable townhouse setting. My hungry corner table guests included Kat and Diane Bailey Jackman. It's Denmark, whose art is on the wall, and his wife, Valerie. 
Mr. and Mrs. Barry Stanley, and Chef Ishbel, and Linda Dillard. Our order included some of the Sunday specialties, those pancakes and French toast, and crab cakes. Only Yvette Mayo explained her work. We prepare with loving hands. In other words, we give it a personal touch. And that love means you will not suffer from small portions. How about crab cakes, fritters and apples, or fried cod? At two steps down, you'll feel like family. Every Sunday morning, it's, it's great. It's great food, great family time. But you may want to rest. All they need now is a room in the back with a bed so that I can just lay down and relax because I'm so stuffed right now. Because you're eating. Good southern food with a slight Caribbean influence. Uh, huge portions, slight spicy aftertaste. My guests love the place. It's a very unique recipe with corn inside pancakes. Being an artist, uh, they provide me with a showcase for my work as well as other artists. The card cakes, the card cakes, the codfish cakes. In fact, when I knew that I was coming here this morning, I woke up thinking about them. The atmosphere here is just great. I think it's a very cozy restaurant and you always feel warm. Two steps down is a step toward a big Sunday brunch. And you can get a huge brunch, including one complimentary drink, for only $9.95 at Two Steps Down. The address is 240 DeKalb Avenue in Brooklyn. By the way, Tuesday night is Caribbean night with live music and a menu priced between $7 and $15. Well, in the midst of this terribly hot weather, wanting to eat in a restaurant near a cool body of water is a natural idea. So over the course of the summer, the corner table will visit a few good restaurants with refreshing water views. The first pick, the Water Club. There's the water, actually the East River, and there we are. Want more proof? Well, that circle line boat in the back is not a special effect. The Water Club is a high ceiling, cool, comfortable space, so bright that you might want sunglasses. My guests, director Mercedes Ellington, actress Laura Kirk, and student filmmaker Avery Williams wanted lobsters. A pound and a half. Could you help me out with the shells? I would also like the same lobster as Mercedes. <laughs> and let me have the two pound, but let me have mine broiled. Also at the table were pianist Bernard Weinstock, student filmmaker Camille Cruz, and media consultant Nick Giovaschi. Before they attack the lobsters, we hit the appetizers. Seafood gazpacho, house-smoked salmon, avocado salad, and organic field salad. The kitchen specializes in American cuisine, and owner Buzzy O'Keefe explained its essence. They don't do it in France, they don't do it in Japan, they don't do it in Italy, they don't do it in Germany. Only America brings in every cuisine from, every cuisine from the world. Our entree lineup included mahi-mahi, skate wing, and cod on sweet corn puree, and lobsters. But I had a question. What's the best way to get the lobster meat out of the knuckle of a lobster? Uh, it's important to use a napkin because these spines are sharp. We faced a full table of excellent food. So what do my corner table guests think? The view is wonderful and the food is really great. I love the meal. I love the atmosphere. You really feel like you're on a boat. Eating here was a great place to be on a hot Saturday in the city. Okay, the leeks, it was um, right on time. Well, usually you get Caesar salad and the, that dressing is just so heavy and it was really nice and light. I ordered the mahi-mahi because the last time I had mahi-mahi was at Club Med in Mexico. <laughs> and I wanted to have it again. And uh, I must say it was better than the Mahi Mahi Club Med. <laughs> the Water Club on the East River. One place to cool off. Singing and eating somehow go together at Ellen's Stardust Diner at 56 and 6 in Manhattan. And Ellen's Stardust Diner has a gigantic menu, burgers to salmon, plenty of Tex-Mex, and nothing on the menu costs more than $12. It's at 6th and 56th Street. While there are many fine restaurants in the Westchester area, so to choose the corner table destination for the first visit to that county, I asked a couple of food authorities to live, who live in that vicinity to make a pick. And their selection was? 
Silvano's Restaurant in White Plains has ample parking and it's across the street from the Westchester County Center. It's a spacious, vaulted ceiling environment. My corner table guests included comedian John Mulrooney, who had to deal with Alan Lonefels and his telescoping fork. I don't know. Oh, wait, something on Bill's plate looks... Uh, <laughs> oh, sure. You have uh, some of your vegetables. It's like a surgical <laughs> instrument. Can I have some wood shavings, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> also with us, Barbara Lowenfels, the reporter dispatch editor, Victoria Hockman, and John's brother, New York Transit Police Officer Michael Mulrooney. In the kitchen, Chef Jacqueline Chalmondelet explained the food. I'd have to say it's American cuisine with a flair of just about every other culture. That we have a diverse kitchen staff, and I try to pull a little bit from everybody. Our appetizers included warm ghost cheese salad, red snapper and shrimp cake, and home smoked salmon. While waiting for the entrees, I asked John to uh, look around the kitchen. Here we are down in Lovano's, and this is where they make all the coffee. Right here. Barbara Bush is on the cover of, of the Quaker Room. This is, uh, this is where Lovano smokes all that fresh fish. We'll look at it later. We got beautiful sardines over here, lobsters, everything. They never miss these. They won't miss it a bit. They won't. The fish didn't make it past the metal detector, but our entrees did. Grilled roasted chicken with goat cheese, focaccio sandwich, a club sandwich, soft shell crabs, and halibut and a frittata. So what did my corner table guests think? Well, Bill, I thought the meal was excellent. I haven't eaten this good since I was at Dunkin' Donuts last night. <laughs> I had the, the creme brulee was just sinful. The soft shell crabs were truly harvested at the height of their delicious flavor. The fish tasted very fresh. It was really um, a good summer dish. Tell me about your meal and what you thought about it. I'm glad I brought a sandwich, Bill. Lovano's in White Plains, where John Mulrooney is trapped in the wine cellar. Lovano, spelled L-I-V-A-N-O-S, is right by exit 22 of the Bronx River Parkway in White Plains. Costs, the lunch entrees average about $12, and the average check at dinner is $30 for a three-course meal. And by the way, the kitchen staff has many graduates of New York's great culinary institute. Okay, I'm getting ready for volleyball, but first, it's time for Bill Boggs' Corner Table. And a couple of weeks ago, I told you this summer we're going to take you to excellent restaurants with soothing, cooling water views. Today we go to the Hudson River Club, which is at Vesey Street and the Hudson River. What's interesting about this restaurant is all of the produce at the Hudson River Club, Club comes from farms and so forth along the Hudson River Valley. So, let's go. It is a restaurant with a memorable view of the Statue of Liberty, the shimmering Hudson River Club. A wonderful mural of a Hudson River farm scene sets the tone, and proprietor Chris Carey explains his philosophy. In the great uh, agricultural region of the Hudson Valley, there are many great produce farms, dairy and game farms along the Hudson, Hudson River, and, uh, and great wineries that really make for ingredients for a fine restaurant. The kitchen is dedicated to regional excellence, so I wanted to find out from Chef Waldy Malouf about his array of local produce. We have various game birds from Quattro Game Farm, trout from Edenbrook Farms in the Catskills, uh, various cheeses that are made in the valley, wild mushrooms that have been forged in Columbia County, and here I have various produce from farms in the valley. So let's meet our corner table guests. News 4's Don Williams and his wife Ainsley. Designer Sophia DiGiacomo and radio's Mark Simone. New York Observer's Frank DiGiacomo. Singer Lori Beecham and Ishbel Brunette, the chef. Our selections included grilled sea scallops on rosemary skewer, veal chop with morels, halibut poached in mushroom broth, roast free-range chicken, and grilled fish and Fisher's Island oysters. And desserts. Who wants a Dolly Parton and who wants a Statue of Liberty? <laughs> the chocolate Statue of Liberty was good enough to eat. So what did my corner table guests think? As a chef, I'm very impressed that everything is local from the Hudson River Valley. Nothing's flown in from Chile or California, so it's seasonal. The uh, halibut that I had was nicely filleted. The, the broth that was surrounding it uh, was light. It's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> the trout was filleted. 
and it had a beautiful herb sauce around it. The veal I had was actually very good. It's very juicy. There were some, um, like a vegetable ravioli that was served with it. That was a little nondescript. I like the salad very much and the shredded goat cheese on top. You know, all the uh, fish comes out of the uh, Hudson River. I could tell by the graffiti on it. Manhattan's Hudson River Club. A unique New York feeling. Well, the Hudson River Club is aiming for the highest quality food, and that means the prices are something like this. The basic lunch entrees are in the low 20s. Dinner entrees go between $23 and $35. I think the best value there is a nice Sunday brunch at $23 a person. And again, the Hudson River Club is at Vesey Street and the Hudson River. Now that we've had a little bit of food, at least in our minds, let's talk beach exercise. Well, a week ago, after we finished at Orchard Beach last Saturday, we headed next door, so to speak, uh, to City Island to shoot this week's Corner Table restaurant visit. Now, I had never been to City Island in the Bronx, and I found it to be a wonderful escape from the city within the city. That's the City Island Bridge, which leads to a place in the Bronx with an impressive marina. City Island has quiet, tree-lined streets and houses with nautical touches. Some backyards peek at the Long Island Sound. There is bait and tackle for fishing, a dive shop, an underwater museum with those long-gone diving bells from Coney Island, and restaurants like Tony's Pier, Neptune Inn, Sammy, and the Lobster Box. So with all these restaurants on City Island to choose from, I asked restaurant critic John Mariani to pick one, and he chose this place, Johnny's Reef Restaurant a spacious cafeteria-style place with a large seaside patio. John Mariani explains his pick. City Island is exactly the way it was in the 50s, and Johnny's is one of those restaurants that serves impeccably beautiful fresh fish. They do high volume, there's great turnovers, the, f the fish is really, really good, the soft shells, the lobsters, they fry in vegetable oil. You'll meet everybody in New York here. It's a nice, clean operation with selections that range from porgy to soft shells and frog legs. The customers are happy. So let's take a look at the food. There you've got porgy, frog leg, and lobster tail. Steamed shrimp, fried flounder, calamari, scallops, some very fresh corn, great French fries, steamed flounder, and watermelon. It's the kind of uncomplicated, simple eating place that was quite prevalent before the invasion of fast food chains. Johnny's on the Reef in City Island. After 35 years, still doing very good business, in a peaceful environment. It's not love. So go it's feed yourself or someone you love. And no matter what you do, it's not love, it's just a good Well, Johnny's Reef Restaurant is located at the end of City Island Avenue, at the very tip of the island, and the prices are very good value, considering particularly the portion size, which is a large. Most entrees are under $10. The place is staggeringly long hours. They're open from 11 a.m. until midnight, Sunday through Thursday, and until 1 a.m. on the weekends, and Johnny's Reef Restaurant does not take reservations. There's plenty of parking there for about 150 cars. Uh, I, the best tip I can give you about Johnny's Reef Restaurant would simply be to try to go there during the day. I'm told the City Island Avenue, particularly on weekends, gets very, very crowded at night. A great spot to go during the day. Now, the only dessert available at Johnny's Reef Restaurant is soft ice cream. But Perry has a selection of desserts that could make you forget that you might have to wear a bathing suit tomorrow. Bill Boggs' Corner Table is brought to you by the American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Welcome back. You know, sometimes neighborhood family restaurants have more to offer than just decent food. How about a small place? run by a hard-working husband and wife team that uses family re recipes and it's a place where your kids can make their own pizzas. It's a good spot for a birthday party, so let's go. In Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, where people like good Italian food, on 87th Street between 4th and 5th Avenues, you'll find Stefan's. Richard and Carol Stefan run the operation. First step in the pizza-making process kids gather around the big table. I asked them about the kind of pizza they wanted. Pepper, ooh, we got one pepperoni, that's good. And how about you, what do you want with your pizza? Meatball. One pepperoni, one meatball, and everybody else is regular. 
All right, let's see what happens. Next step, handing out the dough, followed by, you got it, the pounding of the dough. Washing hands in advance is definitely recommended. Then, the art of sauce application. Tasting is okay, and so is cheese. it on and passes it to the next person, okay? Then for the extras. Not one child is putting any vegetables on their pizza? No! I will. Hmm. Anyway, while Uncle Louie put the pizzas in the oven, I checked out the orders on the stove and talked to Richard Stephan about his place. We make everything here and our food is it goes from a little more sophisticated to simple pizzas, but we make our own mozzarella. We have a wood-burning oven. We do regional specialties. And it is a good place for adults with big appetites. Some of the entrees included chicken scarpello, a pounded veal elephant ear, salmon with shellfish, and filet of salmon with tomato crust. And, of course, our finished pizzas, which seem to prove that a self-constructed pizza makes a child happier than an ordinary one. I asked the kids what they liked. Everything. It was like being at school, learning how to do something new. I would say it's fun, you know? You know, just doing it all by yourself, you know? It was fun. Very good. It's not every day you get to be on the news. So long, folks. <laughs> now I know what George Burns looked like when he was eight. <laughs> Let's start with the location under the Brooklyn Bridge on the Brooklyn side. The River Cafe has been dazzling diners with a breathtaking view and excellent food for 16 years. And the romantic atmosphere has led to more than 5,000 couples getting engaged in this room. But no one popped the question at our table. My River Cafe corner table guests included Perry Peltz, Mr. Weekend Bobby Rivers, Ishbel Brunette, the chef, Radio's Mark Simone, the great Ray Barreto, and CD101's Pat Prescott. You can view the lady in the harbor, study the petals of a rose, or watch traffic pass. Our conversation veered from Clinton's first six months in office to the race between Dinkins and Giuliani, and even more weighty issues than those. I didn't get the impression that produce people were saying, leave it in the water. No, yes, he was. He said, leave it in the water. He says turn off the water. It's the same as cooking it for four That's minutes. That's exactly yeah. right. All right, let's go see what's cooking in the kitchen, since the River Cafe's kitchen has been at the forefront of the American cooking movement. And I see they're featuring carrots today prominently. And that's Moroccan glaze cooking on monkfish, soy ginger vinaigrette drizzling on sesame crusted sole, and Perry Peltz's pancakes. Some of our other selections included smoked salmon and halibut with capers, goat fondue with smoked duck breast, gazpacho with quesadillas, scrambled eggs and bacon appetizer, salmon seared with cracked pepper and fried oysters, and creme fraiche waffles. Syrup is the best part. There was a chocolate Brooklyn Bridge dessert, and there was Bobby's dessert. It's a Palm Sunday. So what did the corner table guests think? And I thought everything was very nice. The service was good, and it's a really pretty place to be sitting. It's a good place to feel good about eating. And the view is so incredible. I ate my whole meal like this. I had waffles, and I think they were some of the best waffles I've ever had. So they offer not just an incredible view, but a consistently high standard of American cuisine. The food is very good, and the presentation is very witty. Brooklyn's River Cafe, one of New York's most beautiful places for a meal. And the people on the boats will wonder what you're eating. The River Cafe is located under the Brooklyn Bridge at Old Fulton and Water Streets. It's open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. It's expensive. The fixed price for dinner is $58, lunch a little cheaper in the $16 to $24 price range. But if you're looking for a place for a very special occasion, that's it. And remember, it's on the Brooklyn side of the river. Three out of our seven guests got mixed up. When we